So I'm going to uh, give you some ideas related to a comment on one of my previous videos. And one of these days I'm going to get in trouble because, uh, you know, a commenter is going to uh, catch that I'm referring back to that. But, um, but I'm doing it because uh, one of these videos, someone got on who is, uh, seems to be not a Christian, uh, is likely an atheist, and they had expressed certain views that are very common that you're going to come across. And in this journey to truth, we're going to work towards uh, eventually getting more into discipleship things and how to become a stronger Christian. But the beginning part of this is having to work through how to identify, how to know truth, how to know that we're on the right path with the Bible and with Christianity and such. Uh, and so we need to think through some of these things. And there's a, there's a few concepts that surface. One is that we need to use our brains. That's one, someone who left a comment uh, when I said, what is your truth source? And this person said, my brain. And that's as if to imply that you're not using your brain uh, by accepting the Bible and Christianity, which I might put a link in the description or in the comments to the video I did on is Christianity logical or is it logical to be a Christian? Um, but the problem also with saying I'm going to use my brain is uh, that, that that's an arrogant thing to assume that you have reached the capacity that you do not need any other source to help you navigate through life. And none of us actually lives that way. All of us do internet research for different items of life. We go and see a doctor, we might see an attorney, uh, we, we might seek out a plumber, uh, an electrician, like we, we seek out guidance, we read books, we watch the news, uh, we, we seek out information from other sources because we know that we don't know everything. We know that we're limited. That doesn't mean we're not intelligent, it's just we cannot actually contain all things. And so we have to have other sources. We have to be thinking while we're using those sources, but we need other sources. So for someone to say, you know, I don't need the Bible because I use my brain, Basically, the concept is, is I don't need another source because I use my brain. And that's, that's really, um, again, arrogant and, and foolish to, to take that, that posture. Now, another issue is that uh, the idea that the beliefs, faith beliefs can't be proven and so I shouldn't walk in those things. We do things by faith all the time. You know, did we really study the architecture of a bridge before we drove across it? Did we really study the mechanics of a car engine before we got behind the wheel? Did we really study uh, the ingredients and all the ins and outs that what produce the particular drink that I'm about to drink? Uh, food I'm about to consume? Did, did we actually do that? I'm, I'm going to turn on a gas heated furnace. And I'm just trusting without acquiring more information and certainty. Now, we, a lot of those things we could if we wanted to explore some degree of certainty. But uh, if you've ever <laughs> I've heard people say that have worked at restaurants, once you work at a restaurant, you never want to eat from a restaurant again <laughs> because you see what happens there. So when you go to a restaurant and you buy food, you're trusting that they handled your food in a very sanitary way. and and your trust isn't really valid and you don't really have any evidence. I mean, you have some, but you don't have foolproof evidence for your trust. So we, we act on beliefs all the time, gut reactions. We act on beliefs all the time without having 100% certainty. So to say that I cannot follow Christian teachings because there's not 100% certainty on it or all its aspects, it is to reject living life in general. I mean, I mean, you have to, at some point, you have to move and, and, and act. And, and that's really just the weak side of an agnostic posture of doubting everything, is you'll never do anything, you'll never believe everything or anything. Uh, the other angle that came from these comments that you, you will likely encounter from time to time is, is old ideas versus new ideas. And, and that's a very common cultural phenomenon now and has been for the past few decades maybe is that 
If it's a new idea, it must be correct. Now, there is some validity to that that is the reason why that came to be. Uh, there is some validity to that 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 uh, say, take, for example, certain medical advance, advancements. I would rather be treated by a doctor today than a doctor in the 1500s. But the reason is because they have so much more information than those doctors did in the past. And so that makes it more likely that they are correct on their medical choices. Uh, and, and most of the people that are advocating new ideas well, I shouldn't say that, but if you're advocating new ideas, uh, a lot of times when it's science or medicine, it's not, science or medicine is not actually giving us morals on how to live our life. It's showing us how to resolve some things, but it's not resolving morality and a lot of other things. So we, we can't really go on that. Uh, but just because like scientifically, you get more information medically, you can get more information technology, you can get more information and so you're able to, the new ideas are, are smarter than the older ideas because of the, the greater amount of information that we have. Uh, does not mean that because today we've decided that homosexuality is okay, or today we've decided that you know there are no sexual boundaries, or today we decided that there is no God and you don't need to live as if there is a God, doesn't mean that our view is correct just because it's the new idea. I, there's been plenty of times that the new idea was the wrong idea. So uh, it's, it's such a fallacy argument because again, it's often brought up by people who are saying we need evidence. And then they're saying, well, because I ha it's the new idea. Sorry, I got a bee chasing me. <laughs> uh, because it's the new idea, then it's the true idea. And again, what evidence do you have that your new idea is the true idea? Just because it's new doesn't mean it's true. So. Uh, those are things that will come across you and you're going to have to learn not only how to shoot that down for yourself, but also how to help others see that that's a, that's a fallacy. New is, is correct. It's not true. Uh, using my brain means I don't need to have a, re a resource. All of that stuff uh, is kind of a, a mess. So uh, I encourage you to try to make sure you know how to interact with, with others. Uh, that way. If you have any questions about how to do that uh, or any other questions about this subject matter, let me know. I'd be glad to answer them in the comments. Or if you have any ideas of your own, leave those in the comments. And again, if you're not a believer and you're responding to this, please um, consider that this is more directed at, at, at Christians, uh, but I'd be glad to answer your questions. Uh, so if you think this would help other people, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, follow the page on Facebook, and leave a comment. More interaction you give, the more visible this becomes. Share it with somebody else. And we're going to continue our quest for becoming the person that, that uh, is the best person we can be, and especially the person that Jesus wants to be, us to be. God bless you.